Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and in this video I decided to do a voiceover to explain my painting process. So let's get started. As you can see on the screen that I took this reference photo for my inspiration for this painting. Now moving on to the sketching part. For my sketching part, I like to use a thin, hard, round brush and it's just a Photoshop default brush and yeah, I usually like to use this brush for my sketching part a lot. And right now, I'm just making sure that I'm happy with the sketching part and everything is detailed so I can move on to the next page which is color blocking. Moving on to the color blocking stage. In this stage, I use lasso tool a lot and it just saves so much time for me and it makes the whole process so much easier. And right now, I'm choosing the right color for the background so I know how the background is going to look like. To me, I like to keep the background a bit more simple from the main subject of this painting. I don't know, it's just my stylistic choice. Now that I'm done with my color blocking stage, now moving on to the rendering part. Obviously, this part is kind of interesting for me because in this part, everything starts to look more pop out. And for my character, I like to use more saturated color. And while I'm rendering, I'm always thinking about how the shadow and the lighting is gonna interact with each other like the neck of the subject is gonna catch some drop shadow from the chin and the top of her head and the shoulder is gonna catch some light from the lighting of the room Thank you. 
and right now I just set my sketching layer on the multiply and start to draw over it and I'm gonna render everything out unless I'm happy with the final result. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys find something useful from this and yeah, this is the final result and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!